With Perfect Match, I finally realized, hey, this could happen for me. Am I happy? Uh, yeah, you can pretty much <laughs> say that. <laughs> At Perfect Match, we use an advanced system to help you find the man or woman of your dreams. Finding true love seemed impossible. Our compatibility analysis measures you and your potential matches across thousands of comparison points. My ex played AAA ball. And he would have got to the majors too if he didn't take a fastball to the dome. True love is just a touch away. Look for Perfect Match in the App Store and create a free personality report today. Let me guess, you've tried Tinder. Uh, you've tried Bumble. Uh, you've tried Hinge. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Perfect match is nothing like those other guys. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Great. Back to the future. <clears throat> we're sort of a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, personalized dating service to help you find Mr. Right. Or Mrs. Ms. Right. What? I'm oh. sorry, uh, come again? No, I, I never like to assume. Oh, that I'm a lesbian. <laughs> no, 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 I'm straight. Yeah, I thought so. I sort of have a, a nose for these things. For what? Anyways, we've got experts who are gonna be with you every step of the way, from setting you up with uh, custom matched suitors to your exact personality type to helping you snag reservations at some of the city's hottest date spots. Hello bowling. <laughs> <laughs> to even walking you down the aisle, should you want them to walk you down the aisle. Great. Yeah. Great, all right, let's get going. <laughs> I'll show you into my office, where the magic happens. Hot young thing, freshman at State, believe it or not, anthropology major, so you know that got me excited. She must have come 10, 15 times, all intervaginal, like Richter level shaking shit, you know what I'm saying? Are you a virgin? Dude, I just told you I had sex. Yeah, dude, do you listen? He just told us he had sex last night. And, and by my count, that's like the the fourth time this week? Shut up, Martin. Yeah, shut up, Martin. It was the fifth time. Look, I understand that you like to embellish the truth, but I just think you should maybe, you know, rein it in. Okay, cool, yeah, rein it in, buddy who's still looking for the one. What is wrong with that? We work in finding the one, it's bullshit. <laughs> no, no, see, I agree with Daniel on this, and, and I was on your side before, but since I met Marianne, I've really sort of seen the light. Martin, isn't your wife like 80 years old? Um, she's 64. And honestly, to us, age is just like a number. I mean, she's really changed me for the better. I mean, take last night. We're reading Kindle, and then it's time to eat. So I order a cheese pizza with no cheese because she's allergic to it. And we just sort of eat this. I mean, at that point, it's just like a saucy bread, but <laughs> so is she. That's a joke that I make every time we have saucy bread. And uh, so we eat, we get a little tired. She falls asleep again, right? Well then after that, we went to the bedroom, and I'm, look, I'm no Corman, I'm not gonna get graphic on you, but uh, we had fun. So you kissed each other and then climbed into your separate beds? No, I assure you that we share one bed, and I should know because this morning it was my turn to do the sheets. Cool, didn't ask. Because they were coated in our juices. God oh, damn Jesus it, Morgan, Christ. I knew you were Come gonna go on, there, I hate it! I hate it, oh, I hate wow. it. Mark, oh, wow. I can also be loud. Shut up, virgins. No, I am not. Uh, this chick Barnhart showing around is hot as hell. Who do you think's gonna get her? I got a full plate. Guys I'm working with strike out on the reg. Mm, sounds like they're really listening to you. I'm probably tapping out too. I'm trying to lighten the load a little bit because Marianne likes me home early. She keeps an early bedtime. How's your roster looking, lover boy? I just had a few clients make it relationship official. So I'm kind of late. Wow, pride of the program mm -hmm. and he can't even help himself. Delicious irony. It's not like you're getting laid on the regular line. Yeah, I am. I actually just met a guy on Tinder who pays me to choke him. $200 and nothing else and then I get off in my car on the way home. That's prostitution. Shut up, Martin. That's how people who don't fuck corpses date. Yeah, no, she's exactly right, because I knew a chick like that once, and let's just say she did not wait to get off in the car. <laughs> well, yeah, so yeah, that's prostitution. Sounds like a very real person, Corman. Well, this chick is super hot, so don't get high on your own supply. I think I'm a little more professional than that. Mm. But then I found out that it's a whole island of stray dogs. Daniel, this is Michelle. She's looking for 
Mr. Wright. This is Daniel. He's the best shipper we have. Cool, damn, right in front of us. Hi, Daniel. I'm Michelle. Hi. All right, I'll show you out. Nice to meet you. And in the end, I found out she wasn't actually my mom. <laughs> <laughs>